We welcome all of you to the 25th Refreshing Waters Renewal. These are targeted to be seasons of refreshing. They're designed to build up those in the most holy faith, to renew your hope, to make sure you have the full assurance of faith, the full assurance of understanding, and the full assurance of hope. The theme of these renewals has remained the same from the very beginning, is to clarify the nature and the content of the gospel of Christ. <clears throat> the gospel of Christ is like a deep well. You perhaps heard people refer to 1 Corinthians 15 as this is the gospel that Christ died, was buried, died for our sins, was buried, rose again the third day. Now that is true, but that's the summation of the gospel. Actually, the epistles are the exposition Amen. Amen. of the gospel. If you want to grow in Christ, and I assume you do, <clears throat> You simply have to know more than that Jesus died for your sins. That may prove fairly adequate to get you in, but it won't keep you in. He also died according to the Word of God, 2 Corinthians 5, that He died so that we might live unto him. That's a big reason why he died there so far as the application is concerned. Yes. And so we're targeting being as much assistance as we're able to help you live only for Christ. For nobody else. Everybody else comes after that. You understand? When you live for Christ, it sanctifies whatever else you do. If you don't live for Christ, everything you do is wrong. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. It's a matter of revelation. Now we've got a number of speakers that are going to be speaking. We, we do desire that none of them be free spirits that just preach what they want and that's it. We want these messages to fit together. Amen. We are very suspicious of any kind of proclamation that doesn't fit together with other valid proclamations. We, as I say, Amen. we are very suspicious of such proclamations. And so these will fit together. And, and uh, as you hear them, if you're able to think on the fly, and you've got to target being able to do that. You've got to, you've got to target when you hear the word of God, it filtering through all the all your resources right on the flyer. You're working this thing out. Now I know this works because this is what I do. I think in Bible language. This is how I think. So when someone says change your version, I just tell them to go home. That's all. That's all. And when your when your mind is filled with the word of God. You are actually able, as you hear, you're processing this. Your mind can work fast. And that's how you're edified. That's how edification comes. And we want to promote that here. I understand that this is kind of a new thing to some people. I understand that. And it was, well, it was a time when it was new to us. But we want not only to introduce you to the idea of not just being entertained or not just being mesmerized by the way a person talks, but actually being able to th think while you're sitting there with the person. One mind, you're, you're thinking together. 
And as you believe me, brethren, if you try and do this, the Lord will help you. He'll help you to do this. And you'll find yourself greatly helped as a result. I'd like us to sing a, a verse of amazing grace just to get started. I'm going to have a prayer, kind of tune you up. Sing loud now because we're to teach and admonish one another. Huh? In psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, obviously we got to hear them if they're going to teach us. And beside that, there's... There's some angels leaning over the ramparts of heaven, desiring to look into these things. They're listening to see what we, what those that are in Christ, what they sing about. Yes, you just join me and sing out, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. this service and ourselves unto you. We do it, Lord, in gratitude for what you've done for us. You've gotten rid of our past. You've attached us to the future. You've made us partakers of the divine nature. You've given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Now we're asking you to empower and enlighten and come alongside by your Holy Spirit, those who speak. As we sing the songs of Zion, Put the grace into our heart that will enable us to sing it properly. And now in Jesus' name, accept our offerings to you of praise and of sacrifice of life. And cause your face to shine upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 